January 19th, 2003. Indian officials ventured into a deep jungle, investigating several missing persons reports from a nearby city. What they found was a dakma, or Tower of Silence. Zoroastrians used these sites to dispose of bodies in the open air. While sites like these are not uncommon in certain parts of India, several peculiarities hinted at something more unusual. For starters, none of the bodies depicted in the photograph were identified. Villagers from nearby, though initially surprised the sheer number of corpses in the Dakma, proved unable to recognize a single body. The corpses also did not match the descriptions of any of the missing people. There were no animals around except for maggots and flies. Zoroastrians rely on birds, i.e. buzzards, vultures, to dispose of the bodies, in the belief that they are contributing back to the earth. Officials found the corpses relatively untouched by any sort of such animal. There is no official count of the bodies. In fact, little work was actually accomplished at the site, and, perhaps, this is why only one photograph has ever emerged. Officials avoided the spot not only because they felt uneasy looking at it, but for the following as well. The deep pit in the center of the photograph was filled with several feet of festering blood. Far more than any of the bodies on the outside could have ever supplied. The stench was also so unbearable, many of the officials began to get nauseous when they first approached the Dakma. The expedition was ended when the villager accidentally kicked a small bone into the pit, penetrating the coagulated surface of the pool. A massive burst of gas from the decomposing blood erupted from the pit, splashing those looking into it, along with the photographer. Those caught in the explosion were immediately sent to hospital, where they were quarantined for possible infection. They became delirious with fevers, shouting about being tainted with the blood of Ahriman, the personification of evil in Zoroastrianism, despite never having admitted having any familiarity with such religion. In fact, many of them had no idea what a dogma was when they found it. Delirium turned to insanity, as many began to attack hospital staff until they were sedated. The fever eventually killed all of them. When officials returned with hazmat gear the following day, the site was empty. All of the bodies had been removed and, astonishingly, the pool of blood in the pit had been drained. All that remained of the incident was this photograph.